<laughs> it is Hugh Jackman's final portrayal of Wolverine. I gotta say, I'm kind of emotional. Logan. So, Logan is the third film in the Wolverine franchise, and I think it's the ninth film in the X-Men franchise overall. And in this film, we follow Logan, played by Hugh Jackman. He's much older than he used to be. He's way past his prime, and he has to take care of Charles Xavier, played by Patrick Stewart. He is also very old and past his prime, and along the way, he... They meet up with this girl named Laura, played by Dr. King, and it's up to Logan to take her to a safe haven after some bad guys start to exterminate, I guess if you want to call it, exterminate other children where Laura was once kept. Alright, so let's get into Logan. Alright, so as you guys probably know, if you watch my top 10 most anticipated movies of the year list, Logan was my number 6, I believe, if I remember right. And that is because I saw the trailers, I was hooked from the start, I loved these trailers, it looked like it was going to be a darker, more grittier tone, kind of the antithesis of Deadpool, if you want to call it that. Whereas Deadpool is really funny, Logan is a lot more dramatic. And I gotta say, this movie paid off to the fullest. I absolutely loved, loved, loved Logan. It's my favorite movie of the year so far right now. I'm just gonna get that out of the way. That might be a spoiler for my rating coming up in a few minutes, but whatever. I really loved this movie. First off, Hugh Jackman... No one else can play Wolverine. I really don't think anybody else could play Wolverine. Hugh Jackman is the epitome of what Wolverine is supposed to be. He just owns the role, and once again, he knocks it out of the park here. Uh, Patrick Stewart, he is also really good as Charles Xavier. But the performance that stands out the most to me, not like even more so than Hugh Jackman, Daphne Keen as Laura. Wow! She was so fun to watch. Super fun. She had some really funny moments in the movie as well. But it's mostly during the action scenes where she's just going boom, 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 boom. It was just so incredible. Such a joy to watch. Speaking of which, the action scenes in this movie, wow. They go for it here. This movie is rated R for a reason. So, I'm just gonna say it now, parents. If you think this movie is too violent, um, look at the, look at the rating. It's rated R for a reason. It's not recommended that you take kids to see Logan. But yeah, it just goes hardcore R violence. It's crazy brutal. It's really dark, and it is so much fun. And the tone of this movie as well. It's really dark, and I think it's highly appropriate, especially as the final Hugh Jackman performance as Wolverine. Speaking of which, this movie is the perfect ending to Hugh Jackman's portrayal of Wolverine. I don't think it could be any better than it was, honestly. Gotta be honest. And the cinematography as well, that really surprised me too. It had kind of a hell or high water type of feel to it. Like, it's a co it's like a combination of hell or high water and something like Captain America Civil War, where it's act crazy action and yet it's got like a western feel to it. That's just how I felt about it. And the soundtrack as well. The soundtrack was really good. And I'm just going to say this right now, the third act of this movie, whoa, wow, I was in awe at what I'd seen. And the other thing, um, uh, what, what was the guy's name? The guy that played the villain, 
he had some very good moments in the movie as well. And the chemistry between Doc McKee and Hugh Jackman and Charles Xavier worked out really well too. And there's this one scene, and I think it's in the middle of the second act toward the beginning of the third act. It, it's, it takes place in a house, and Charles Xavier, he's sleeping on a bed, and the, the, thing that, the things that ensue in that scene... I was just like, oh my god, that was incredible. And the last thing is the final shot of this movie, I was in tears. I was in some serious tears. It was such the perfect final shot for a movie where it's the final portrayal of a character from an actor. And to Hugh Jackman, I say thank you from the bottom of my heart so much. You are the only Wolverine I think I'm ever going to remember. So, once again, thank you. To be completely honest, the only real nitpick I had, and it's a nitpick, it's not even a flaw, it's a nitpick. And that is, there was a small pacing problem where I felt the movie's runtime in the middle of the second act, but honestly, that's it. I love this movie. So overall, Logan, once again, it is the perfect movie to finish off Hugh Jackman's portrayal of Wolverine. I don't think it could have been any better. James Mangold, you did a fantastic job with this movie. And once again, Hugh Jackman, thank you so much for 17 years as this great character. Guys, definitely go see Logan as soon as you can if you haven't already. And if you haven't guessed it by now, Logan's definitely going to be in my top five movies of the year. I'm pretty sure. If not, at least top ten. At least. So, with that being said, guys, I am going to give Logan a 99% certified fresh rating. It is my second A plus of 2017. I'm going to make a pretty bold statement, but I think it's going to hold true. If I see a better comic book movie than Logan this year, I will be completely surprised. So, yeah, and this is coming from a huge MCU guy. I'm not even, like, the biggest X-Men fan. I'm, I'm an MCU guy. But there's three MCU movies coming out this year. And I've got to say, good luck. Good luck trying to top this movie. So, yeah. So what did you guys think about Logan? Have you seen it? What did you think about it? Make sure to let me know in the comments below. If you haven't seen Logan already, what are you doing? Go to the theater and see it. There's a really awesome short at, that plays just before the movie, if you see it in theaters as well. So yeah, that's definitely another reason to go see this movie in theaters. So once again, comment below. Let me know what you thought about Logan. And have you seen any of the other Wolverine films? What is your favorite X-Men movie? Go ahead, let me know in the comments below, and make sure to give this video a like, and give this, or and make sure to subscribe to my channel for more reviews to come. Once again, my name is the California Cougar, and always remember to stay California cool, everyone. Peace out.